Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel Chemistry by Sadhanavar. My name is Sadhanavar and today we are going to discuss another challenging question. This is a question from the past paper and the topic which we are going to discuss is atomic structure. And the question is in front of you. Let me read a few things from the question. Then I would try to make this question quite easy for you. Let's see one, two, three. Question is... Time of flight, mass spectrometer, germanium ion reaches the detector with this time. This is the kinetic energy value. The time of the length of the flight tube, uh, 96 centimeter is given. The formula is given. Avogadro length is given. So guys, everything is given. So what we have to do here, we have to find these two things. Use this information to calculate the mass in gram of a one mole. Use your answer to state the mass number of this germanium ion. So this is the main equation which I have to use kinetic energy is equals to half mv square i have to find mass calculate the mass i have to find mass calculate the mass so i will rearrange this equation i will bring this two here that would be two times kinetic energy is equals to mv square i will bring v square to the side as well two kinetic energy divided by v square is equals to m so this is the formula which I use. The problem is V square, velocity square is not given, but this is not the problem. We know this formula, distance is equals to velocity into time. This formula will help us to calculate velocity. So when I bring D to the other, P to the other side, distance over time is equals to velocity, or I can say velocity is equals to distance over time. So distance is given 96 centimeters. To convert this into meter, divide by 100. Divide 96 by 100, by 100, you will get an answer in meter, and that is 0 0.96. 0 0.96, so distance 0 0.96. Time is given here, guys, 4.654 into 10 raised to power minus 6. 0.96 divided by 4.65 4 into minus 6. The answer you will be getting is 206274.1728 per second. This is the velocity, but in the you can see we need v square. So I will take it square. Squaring on both sides. So when I will take square. That would be y square. So I have to take square here as well. So square of answer will be right like that 4.25 into 10 raised to power 10 meter per second square. This is the value which I can use here. So kinetic energy, kinetic energy, what happened? So kinetic energy is this value. 2.438 into 10 raised to power minus 15. V square is 4.25 into 10 raised to power 10. That will help me to find mass. So 2 times 2.438. I am using my calculator, guys. I suggest you guys use your calculator and try to solve with me. So the answer which I am getting is... 1.147 into 10 raised to power minus 25. So this is the mass, guys. In this is the mass in kilogram. Okay, so this is the mass in kilogram, and this is the mass for per ion. Like this is the mass for per ion. I have to find for one mole. So what I do, this is the mass for per ion. I have to find for per mole. So multiply this with Avogadro constant. So I have to multiply this with Avogadro constant 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23. So when I multiply this with Avogadro constant, you will see the answer would be 0 0.069 kilogram per mole now this is for per mole you said i i i am using my calculator let me raise few things so this is the answer to calculate the mass in gram oh this is in kilogram 
So I need to convert this into gram. So I have to multiply this with thousand. So 0 0.069, just multiply this with thousand. Answer would be 69.06. This is gram per mole. So this is the answer, guys. And mass number, like in the second part, they are saying use your answers to the state. Mass number of germanium ion would be 69. This is the mass number. So this is the question how I solved. If you guys want my coaching lessons, one-on-one -on -one individual coaching lessons, don't hesitate. Feel free to contact me. I will make chemistry easy for you. Enjoy.